Minahasa food is very spicy. This is where you will find the Sultan of Sambal. One of the sambals, when translated, actually means spicy, spicy. That's a fair warning. The cuisine here will blow your mind. Let's head to Likupang. At the northeastern tip of Sulawesi, in the Minahasa region, where the cuisine is strongly related to cultural identity. Minahasa people love to party with singing, dancing, and lots of food. Let's kick things off with a bit of spice. Wait, make that a lot of spice. Minahasa famed for their exotic recipe, utilizing unique local ingredients. But one thing the region is truly known for is sambal, Rija. Indonesia has hundreds of sambals, and I'm really lucky as my aunt would make all these wonderful Indonesian sambals and send them to us in boxes. My favourite has always been Dabu Dabu. Dabu Dabu is a mix of bird eye chilies, thinly sliced shallots, ripe and green tomatoes, finely chopped lamb and basil leaves, bittersweet calamansi lime juice with a drizzle of coconut oil and a dash of salt and pepper creates this delightful, colourful condiment. Dabu Dabu is not only hot, but tangy and refreshing as well. That's the magic that happens when chilli is combined with the zest of citrus. I love sambal Dabu Dabu with its natural sweetness. A few steps up the spice ladder is another famous sambal, Richa Richa. Richa Richa hits you like a train, which shouldn't be surprising since chilli is the main ingredient. People in North Sulawesi love Richa Richa so much, they even eat it with fried bananas. The people of Minahasa also believe that eating spicy dishes is an important life lesson. The fiery sensation from the combination of spicy, savory, and bitter flavors creates balance. It's a reminder to find balance in the way we lead our life. Who knew that spicy food could teach us so much? Now, let's shift to another spicy staple of Minahasan cuisine that has a rich history behind it. Woku leaves have always been very significant to Minahasa. Originally, they were hunter-gatherers and would wrap their belongings in woku leaves. The leaves were eventually used for wrapping all kinds of meat and cooking them. An absolute standout in this tradition is woku belanga, which get its name from the way the dish was originally cooked in woku leaves. Today, this dish is made in a clay pot and woku has come to be associated with the sauce. Woku sauce is thick, savory, and spicy, made by pounding roasted candlenut, turmeric, fresh tomato, ginger, and shallot. Of course, it wouldn't be complete without spice, so bird's eye chilies join the fray. Aromatics like lemongrass, kaffir lime leaves, pandan, and turmeric leaves take this sauce to another level. Next up, the star of the show. A plum chicken rubbed in lime and salt is cooked in the paste. The sauce becomes thick and sumptuous, and all that's left to do is a sprinkle of fresh kamangi leaves for a sweet, crunchy finish. This dish has come to mean so much to Minahasa people that a wedding would just not be complete without woku belanga as part of the spread. Just be sure to warn the guests because this dish is spicy! If you possess a milder taste palette, you will be happy to know that this home of fiery flavors has some options for you. During the Japanese occupation in World War II, locals were forced to hide in the jungle, so they started gathering and cooking wild vegetables to survive. This was the birth of bubur tinutuan. The ingredients are delectable. Lemongrass and ginger flavor the water before the rice is added. The leafy vegetable come next before sweet corn is added. The aromatic steam give a hint of great taste to come. Pumpkin or sweet potato, cassava and getty leaf come next. And the pot is left to simmer as the congee thickens. Finally, water spinach is added along with salt and pepper. Once the water spinach wilts, the dish is ready to be served with chakalang fufu and richa richa to add some fire. From the smoky to the fiery and even the mild, Likupang has something to delight every foodie. Join us for more wonderful culinary adventures with love from Indonesia's best ever eats.